Welcome into the Golden Eagle Spotlight, ladies and gentlemen. Brad Galley here along with Market Volleyball's Ashley Blair. Ashley, great to have you here. Thanks. Well, this is uh, obviously your first time on set transferring over from junior college. It's been a really exciting time here about Market Volleyball. You guys are just doing phenomenally well. We'll get to that in a minute, but what's the transition period been like for you to come over in this program and to learn under Von Shemansky? It's been great because I've been, he's been recruiting me for a while, so to finally be here and have him as my coach is a great experience, and it's a huge transition from junior college ball. It's just a lot faster. It's a lot funner, too, yeah. to play volleyball in D1. Now, he's been recruiting you for a while. You were ready to follow him to Georgia Tech, yes. but then he said, hey, I'm going to Marquette. Yeah. Well, I mean, what did you have to, what was that like? I mean, hey, I'm going with Bond no matter what. Is that, was that um, in your head? Uh, it, it was, but I, I kind of looked at other schools, but then I came here and saw it here and knew I wanted to play for him. The reason I went to JUCO was to play for him at Georgia Tech, and then he transferred, so I thought that might as well just go with him since I went to JUCO for a year to play for him. So. Well, the moves worked out. Yeah, I mean, it, the, definitely. The, the, play of the team has been phenomenal but for you as just I mean your first year in this program you've been getting a lot of playing time he trusts you what's the relationship been like on the court between you and coach Shemansky it's really good he he believes in me a lot and he knows that I can bring a lot of energy to the team and I I enjoy doing that for the team but we all just play together really well and he knows that he can trust us all to give our all all the time on the court and it's he's such a great coach a great coach moving to another leader on your team Nikki Klingsborn yeah has been another phenomenal addition to this team coming over from Wisconsin quarterbacking your offense has she, I mean you've played probably with a lot of setters in your life yeah. different players compare her to the rest that you've played with in your life is she something a little bit special yeah she's got a lot of energy I've never had quite a setter that has had so much leadership I've really only played with two setters my whole life okay. But having Nikki as a setter, it, it's a great experience, and she's such a great leader, and she knows what she's doing all the time and knows what needs to be done and just does it. Well, she found you this weekend, this past weekend against Dayton. 19 kills, named the all-tournament team. Was that kind of like a moment for you where you realized, I've made it, Division One, Big East Volleyball, here I am? Yeah, it was really exciting. Um, I, was, I didn't expect it. I, I was surprised when Coach gave it to me, but um, it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed helping the team out in that kind of way. And, but everybody deserved everybody deserved it at this time. Well, I mean, what do you mean, coach gives it to you? The, the, the well, he just handed me some that said like you got all tournament. Oh, okay. I, we didn't, nobody announced it, but yeah. it was it was surprising to me. Well, looking forward here. You got the Big East schedule. I won't ask you to dissect each team because <laughs> you've got two teams, and I know you focus on one at a time. But for you, how excited are you to get started in playing conference play against some of the best in the nation? I'm I'm really excited because I know that our team has a lot of potential to do a lot of great things this season. So. It's exciting to see what, what we're going to get done in the Big East Conference because it's definitely a tough, a tough conference and they got some really good teams. So just to see what we can do this season is going to be a lot of fun. We talked with Coach Szymanski after uh, the Western Michigan victory and we asked him, you know, when you go out on the court, do you expect these girls to win? I mean, they're beating players and teams that, you know, maybe they shouldn't have any business beating last year. And he goes, yeah, I do expect them to win. How much has that attitude really transcended and helped you guys out as a team? It's helped us out a lot because you always got to, we're the underdogs this year. Nobody expects us to be this good, which, and we're su actually surprising to other people, but we just got to go out and do it, just play our hardest, give it our all, I mean, and believe in coach and believe in ourselves. Well, there's a lot to believe in, and I'm sure fans are looking forward to what you guys are going to do in the Big East season. Ashley, thanks so much for joining us here on the Golden Eagle Spotlight, and until next time, be sure to check out all the interviews on MUTVSports.com and on Twitter at MUTV Sports. Thank you so much, and until next time, go Marquette.